Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Psalm 5913. So, not to get religious here, <laughs> the Bible goes to Psalm 5912. So it's a pretty pretty cool little little play and twist there. And that's on religious trauma. But anyway, this uh, this game is created by the same dev that created Escape to Kowloon. That is not up on this channel, but I have played it. Played it on stream a long ass time ago. And I really, really, really enjoyed the game. So if this comes anywhere close to uh, what Escape to Kowloon was, I think we're going to be in for a good, a good trip, a good ride. So without further ado, let's get into this. No shit. So right off the bat, this is cool as fuck. The aspect ratio, the 4-3 is fucking awesome. The VHS effect is also awesome. Brother E. Hey, yo. What was that? What is the spaghetti and oh, the door closed by off. Oh, fuck that shit. The spaghetti and meatballs. Why does it look fresh? But there's a shit ton of flies around. Pizza. Pizza and pasta. Shit, we were partying. Oh no, we can zoom. That's bad. Oh, we're locked in here. Of course we can zoom. It's a VHS camera, you idiot. No, right, we're really locked in here. Dude, do your dishes, homie. God Now we simply can't open any door. Wait, why are we all bloody? What the fuck? We're all scarred up. Um. Hello? Is this thing on? I keep hearing like a faint footstep too. Right, hold on, let's try holding the mouse button then. No. The strongest enemy of all. A well locked door. Am I supposed to like find something in here or what? Are we in like an escape room or some shit? Like what's going on here? <laughs> I have to unscrew the light bulb to open the door. Um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to happen. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's not, though. Do I need to find, like, a key or... Because the door is the only prompt I'm getting. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Dinner has been served. There's gonna be some shit behind me now. Um. So those might not be meatballs. 
Oh, but there wouldn't be eyeballs too, because there's there we have multiple victims. So cannibalism is badass. Know what I'm gathering here. Yo, know, why you keep shutting shit behind me? I don't want that. The lighting is fantastic. We're not alone. That was loud as fuck. Yo, care for your plants. Let them sit on the couch. <laughs> plants aren't allowed on the couch. Yeah, that was loud as fuck, though. It still is. Yo, I swear, if Samara comes through his fucking TV right now, I'm a shit a fucking brick. Like, full fucking brick. Now all we need to see is just a toilet bowl ring. Hello. Alright, I'm assuming we have to find something in here now too. What, what, what body part will we find next? A finger? A toe? An arm? A leg? whole last torso I think I might have said this already but the use of lighting in this is phenomenal Same re inside the TV. Oh, God. These are some pretty low hanging pictures. Turn the TV off. Oh. Oh. There's the eyeballs. <laughs> we found the eyes. Oh no, my fucking eyes. Oh, that was that was pretty good. So whose kids just made a fucking mess? They're Legos too. Why are you looking at me like that? Getting transported to the back rooms. Oh fuck. I 
हेलो This not be in a very big room. Man, it's hard to find whatever I need to find. Oh god, I'm scared of what's happening in there. You, what are you? I don't know if I want to know. I do just have to zoom in on it. Okay. I thought that was a pineapple. I thought that was a pineapple. I'm gonna lie to you. Oh. A remote. I thought that was also just a straight up food, not a magazine. Let's see what's on TV. You know, what the hell's going on here? We're reversing out of somewhere. Now we're going forward into a random spot in the forest. There's a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Put my guard up though. Are we sharpening something? I don't know what that sounds like. Stop fucking fiddling. And what the shit? Yo, don't get closer. We don't want that. Don't get closer. Oh, the lights are going crazy inside. Filming today, making him the first to visit in preparations for the 2008 general election. Republican <laughs> Still missed of all the election. This almost... I feel like this is actually live action. Like... What's actually on the, the TV looks so fucking like real life, real time. If it is, that would be really, really sick. I think they went out and recorded some shit. <laughs> we gotta stand around, we gotta stay on our toes. Keep it together, soldier. My ADHD helps me in this aspect. What are you doing though? Why would you? Oh, that's a whole ass person you just saw. Yeah, bro, fuck all that. What are you doing? You are not taking porn right now. You're not fucking doing it. Have you never watched the descent? It's so loud, too. Fucking scream though. Oh. It's a little sparkle. You are lost on your path. What is that from? I know I've heard and seen that before. Like in real life. There is truth in fiction. We're watching all good things. We're watching some fucking occult tapes. Hell oh, yeah. Oh. Mitt Romney also plans on visiting in Cheyenne on his presidential tour. I'm scared I'm spooked. Get me out of this place. I 
want to go home. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Let me sandy cheeks because I want to get the fuck out of here. You know, I don't much like that. And no thanks. You can stay right there. The microwave done. Um. About this. Hee <laughs> You are those roaches. Yo, somebody needs to clean the fuck up. <laughs> fuck it. No, we can't. We're stuck. Face your fears. Oh shit, hello. Shit, also, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now we can go in there. We have the creepy... This is the same... I think this is the same physics they used in Escape to Kowloon, if I can remember right. Flashlight physics are fucking awesome. It's a really just eerie in it. Lighting is everything in a horror game. Hello there. Like a smiley, smiley mask. I saw your feet. I have no interest looking behind me. to go home. Well, I'm dead. I'm scared. The sound of music. No way. We have to touch them in the right order, I think. That was the right order, but at what cost? So cool, dude. The fucking lighting is so dope. Hey, you knocked that shit off. Yo, you need to quit that shit. I'm right fucking now. 
that noise not it it's so cool like seeing the light go through the windows and the door this shit is super cool no hey My hairs are standing up a little bit. I was ex I was half expecting something like that, but also not at all. Are we in space? A llama. Just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see. And a llama. Or an alpaca, which is it? There's a bear. We can sit. There's a fox. Well, we are literally in space right now. No. This. Oh. Or do we have to collect the animals for a tea party? Alright, fuck off. Yeah, Mr. Fox. I know you want me to go in here. But what are you gonna do after I'm in here? Did this just become a space horror? Uh, Mr. Bear, what, what the fuck's going on with your head there? Why was there a, a key in your head, good sir? for this box. Oh, no. No, the fuck's going on out there? With the fucking blood moon. Still need one more animal. Oh, there's a goose. There's a goose somewhere. Oh, you're in here. Why the fuck are you in there? Get out the trash can, you silly goose. No, you're not watching me. You're not allowed. <laughs> you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Motherfucker. I hate it. Oh. Are 
Grissom. just walking towards me menacingly. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. You can let me out. You can go home. Oh, do we have to find we have to find pieces of a shattered mirror? That's us. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Okay. Alrighty. That was Psalm five nine thirteen. That was that was pretty good. It was a it was a short little scare filled experience. You know, there wasn't like any sort of story, but with a lot of the, the indie titles and especially the indie horror titles, but with these indie horror games, you typically get either no story and really good atmosphere or awesome story and meh atmosphere, or you just get one that's like full of fucking jump scares. And then every now and then you get a gem that hits fucking everything. Uh, this one definitely was very very atmospheric it had really great use of lights really great use of sounds the scares weren't very predictable it definitely left you on edge most of the time and kind of like that uneasy feeling of you're like oh fuck i know it's gonna happen but when is it gonna happen is the real question but overall i thought it was really good super short but great if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it and if you enjoyed me or this style of content please consider subscribing. If you have any other horror game suggestions, please let me know down in the comments because I'm always open to expanding my never-ending backlog of games that I have to play on this channel. If you want to see them, be sure to stick around. Until next time, bye.